Hi, I'm Ashley and this is Garden Buzz. Today we're on my front porch and we're going to do some maintenance out here. We went on a vacation end of June, beginning of July, and I thought I turned all the drip on on the front porch. I usually turn off and just hand water because it drips so much and leaves stains on the cement, but apparently I didn't because I came home and everything was dead. It looked like Halloween on my front porch. So I brought, bought some petunias and a tall grass and uh, annual grass that we're going to put in some pots and then we're going to clean up the cement because there's some stains on it because after i came home i checked to see if it was working and i left one of them on and i put it on too high and it just left a lot of stains on our front porch so we're going to fix that and we're going to clean off some chairs and a little table and make everything look nice out here and new and put a different rug by the front door and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards and we'll talk about some things that I would like to do in the future to spruce up the front porch. So let's get started. So before we get started let me show you what I've got here. I've got these petunias, some purple, some pink and some white and a couple grasses. They're called spikes. They get about uh, 12 to 24 inches tall they're pretty much already 24 inches tall, so they're probably full grown already. And then I've got my potting soil over here. And to clean the concrete off, I've just got some hot water and I'm going to try using Gain. I heard that using laundry detergent helps get those stains out, but if that doesn't work, I've also bought this Rust-Oleum cleaner and degreaser for concrete. So we'll try that too. And then I found this cute little pot um, at Lynn's grocery store in St. George when I was there that says, hey honey. So we're gonna set that up. And then my cute bee rug that says, it's good to be home. All right, and let me show you the pot. I kept one of the plants in the pot so I could show you. But yeah, this is what happened while I was gone on vacation. So we're going to take that out and replant it. And we've also got a planter here on my little uh, spindle that we're going to plant in here. Oh, and I have to show you this. So my pansy basket stayed forever on my front porch because a cute little bird decided to lay this nest and, and lay her eggs or build this nest and lay her eggs in it. And I had to wait until the birds were old enough to fly away so it, and it was just a teeny tiny bird but I want to keep that I teach science for first grade and I wanted to have that to show a type of habitat that birds live in um, and then I've also got this ladder my husband makes blanket ladders so I've got this ladder here that I put some pots on so that's what we'll be putting the petunias in also And then we'll just clean up the rocking chairs and the spindle and all the little lanterns, get rid of the 4th of July stuff, and we will be done. All right, now we will get started. All right, now that we've got that all cleaned up, we can get started on planting. So I'm just gonna use this old dog scoop we have that we don't use for food anymore to scoop the dirt inside. And then I've also got this Espoma plant tone that I'm going to use. I usually use Biotone when I'm doing new plantings, but I'm out of it. I used it all for our cut flower bed. Uh, garden. So we're going to use this plant tone for, it's for all kinds of plants. It's even for fruits and vegetables. So 
We'll put that in with the soil. That should give them some food and nutrients that they need. Oh man, I'm gonna have to use my scissors. There we go. And then I'm also gonna put these water storing crystals in the soil. It helps hold the water so that it doesn't just all drain through the bottom. So I'll do one of these and then all of a sudden with movie magic, you'll see them all complete. And I just got this potting soil from Home Depot. It's just a raised bed and potting mix. So you could use it in raised beds or in pots. And it says it's organic, so, and it's locally made. Also, I'll link any products that I'm using down in the description. So we're gonna do, I think we're gonna go white, purple, white, pink, white, since we have more white than pink and purple ones. Got a few coming out here. Okay. This one doesn't even have any in it. <laughs> Looks good. Add a little bit more soil around here. This is why I am planting before I clean because I knew I was going to make a mess. planting all done there we go we got two four six left Alright, so I got them all planted up. Now I just got to water them in. I'm going to leave them off the front porch until I'm done cleaning it. So the next thing I'm going to do is clear the front porch off, clean the concrete, then I'll clean the furniture and we'll put it all back and see what it looks like.
All right, so I washed off the concrete with the laundry detergent, and yes, it does look cleaner, but it did not get rid of the stain. So let me show you right here. There's the stain, and you can tell it's a lot cleaner, but it definitely doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna try the Rust-Oleum. Um, it says to use one-to-one -one for mild stains, but I think this is more than a mild stain, so then it says to use full power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this solution right on this big stain right here and a couple other stains. I'm not gonna do the whole entire front porch, but then you just let it sit for 20 minutes and scrub it and rinse it and we'll see how it does. Hopefully we only have to apply it one time. All right, here we go. All right, so I got it all poured on here, set the timer for 20 minutes. So meanwhile, I'm gonna clean the furniture that goes on the porch and then we'll clean this up and put everything back. one thing I got my arm workout in for the day but after using the rust-oleum I can't say there's much difference than using uh, laundry detergent so let's take a look at it and then we'll put things back together and see how it turns out so here it is after all the scrubbing and waiting and pouring and rinsing I don't think it looks much different so I don't know I would just go with laundry detergent so you don't have to go buy something extra, but if any of you know of something that actually works and takes off the stains, I would love to know because it's not that pretty of a sight to have on your concrete. Honestly though, if I was to redo this front porch, I think I would do it in all brick, like this brick by our front door. I think that would look gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put everything back and then we will take a look. All right, we're all finished. So my camera battery died and this is my phone. I hope it's a great picture and sound. So let's take a look of what we've got. I think it turned out pretty nice. The concrete is still stained, but I don't know how to get rid of that. Hopefully I'll figure it out sooner than later. But here we go. We've got our little planters all planted up with our pink and purple and white petunias and our spike grass and all the petunias in the ladder everything is all nice and clean some of the petunias were a little bit leggy but I decided not to cut them back because it's kind of late in the season and they don't have a ton of time to grow but enough that they'll get larger and look beautiful and 
add some color to the porch and my cute little bee rug up here. And then I've got some hanging baskets also. These petunias in these hanging baskets I grew from seed. They were from Park Seed and they are called Beach Comer Mix. I really like them, they're really pretty. I know a lot of people don't buy petunias from seed because they aren't very expensive, but when you're somebody that loves petunias and puts them all over your yard, it's probably half the price to buy the seeds and grow them yourself. And then I've also got these straw lights hanging above. It's quite beautiful during the day and at night. Uh, my husband and I sometimes just come sit out here and relax. Last night was quite the show. It was the 24th of July in Utah, which is Pioneer Days, and a lot of people were lighting off fireworks. So we got to sit out here and enjoy the fireworks. So here's a few things I'd like to add to the porch, either next spring or summer. I'll probably work on them sometime during the fall when it rains or the winter when I won't be out gardening. But above the two windows is a big space right here. So I thought I would add a circle sign that said porch rules and put some cute porch rules on there. And then over here, right before you go up to the front door, there's an empty space where I wanted to add like a rectangular sign that said, welcome to our hive. And then on the sides of my rug by the front door, I would like to put two planters, one here and one here, that are kind of V-shaped, so skinnier at the bottom and they'll come out at the top. Some probably larger planters, maybe two, two and a half feet. I hope you enjoyed this video of planting some annuals, doing some porch maintenance, and designing what the porch is going to look like next year. Um, I just thought I'd take a little break and enjoy the view. I hope you do too, and happy gardening!